What is up? I'm Wanted Turtle, and we have something absolutely insane for you guys today. Um, there was recently a special occasion, and my girlfriend actually got me a gift, and she kind of made us a mystery box of different Pokemon TCG stuff. But not only that, but she put it in like a literal Pokemon treasure chest that we have right here. So at first it looks like, alright, it's a pretty cool wooden box with some kind of locking mechanism on it. But then she actually painted all this stuff on the actual box. So let's take a look. We have Squirtle, Pikachu, and Charmander right there on the front. And these are hand painted. She painted them herself. Um, and then also on this side we have an Eevee. I'll have like different angles playing as well. And then on this side we have Snorlax. You know, like Snorlax. So we do have that uh, Snorlax plush in the apartment. But look at this craftsmanship. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. And that Eevee doesn't look easy to draw. And here we, oh man, this is amazing. Um, so Bulbasaur got kind of left out, but we do have Pikachu uh, and the two starters, Squirtle and Charmander. Uh, thank you so much, Amy, if you're watching this, I love you. And oh my gosh, all right, now, this thing is chock full of cards as well. We already opened some stuff, but I left plenty in there to open with you guys. Let's take a look at what's inside. All right, so we're about to crack this thing open. I can't get over how well it's made <coughs> and like, not necessarily made, but like how well, the craftsmanship is for these various paintings. Um, and uh, yeah, I was just absolutely blown away by this gift. So let's take a look inside what we have. Uh, there is a personal message in there, so I did set up some stickies uh, just to cover it up. All right, so here we go. We just cracked this thing open. We got another Pikachu in there and a personalized message that is covered up. And oh man, let's see what's inside. We have the Pale Moon GX box. Trevenant Dust Noir, I really want to create this deck. So I'm really excited about this. Again, we already opened up like a Glaceon EV tin as well as some blister packs. We have a partnership tin featuring uh, Giratina and Garchomp. A couple of very cool theme decks, which we'll probably keep sealed. A Sun and Moon blister. Another theme deck. And then a ETB, Hidden Bates ETB. Absolutely insane. Um, I said we're gonna hold off on this after that terrible opening, but this is a very special occasion, so we're definitely gonna open this. And then there was one box that she picked up the, the stuff already, but then it didn't fit. And um, so let's see what that is. That is the return of the Derpeevee. So we're gonna take another one of these, and this time I will show off the code card for you guys. So, all right guys, there's a lot of stuff to open. Uh, thank you so much, Amy, love you so much. And uh, all right, let's, let's crack some of this product open. All right, we have one more gift too from her, and we also got a new Pikachu plush from the Pokemon Center. This thing is super cute. It has a little Pokeball gift. He has a little party hat on, and it's actually super. Obviously, you can't tell, but it's super soft compared to our other plushes as well. So, I uh, will kind of keep you in the background. Put you over here. There you go. And all right, I think we're gonna start with this Sun and Moon blister, and then get open to our into our partnership tin. Gonna have some cool Unified Minds packs in there. And I think I can just rip these through here. I don't actually know what's in this. I think there might be a Secret Rare Ultra Ball or maybe a DCE. That even if they're not used right now, those will always be useful cards down the line. It's a code card for you guys. Base Sun and Moon. And we have a lot to open. So we're going to get right to it. <clears throat> we have a Metal Energy. Just turn on a light. All right, it's a little bit better. Rare Candy, good card. Brion, Bound Sweet. Psyduck, a Litten, very cute. Cosmog, ooh, Reverse DCE. And then a Stoutland, not bad. All right, let's get into this tin featuring Giratina Garchomp. I'm actually not sure if I opened any of these on the channel yet. Definitely the by far the best one was that Mewtwo one. In fact, like it's you can't even find that one in stores. Um, I, they have a lot of the full metal wall ones and uh, some of these Giratina Garchomps. But these tins are still really cool. You got this metal GX counter as always. I love these alternate art tag team cards. There is that. This one looks amazing. 
and then a code card these code cards are actually usually really well uh, really good too to help create some decks in PTC Joe gives you a great start and hooks you up with a lot of the necessary supporters too so we have a XY evolutions lost thunders lost thunders hey we'll take that and uh, Pikachu you having trouble standing up all right let's do this once again thank you so much Amy and that that box just blew me away all right XY is three cards we have Misty's Determination, Poliwhirl, Revi- oh boy, Dugong is our rare, and uh, so you go over here, and yeah, so excited, everything just fell apart, Ponyta, Drowsy, Electabuzz, Vulpix, and a Drowsy Reverse, so let's figure out our piles, and let's move on to Lost Thunder, let's see, wouldn't mind another Naganadal, maybe? Is it Naganadal? I think Naganadal's in the set. I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a second. We have a Dark Energy. Custom Catcher, putting you off to the side. I think those were going for like $10 a pop at one point. This is insane. Picky Pack, Scyther, Stunfisk, Chikorita. Ooh, Life Force, not bad. And then a Dialga. All right, moving on to Unified Minds. Oh, we've still yet to pull that Reverse Tortuga. That would be insane if we could get it. So as always, guys, hope you all are having a great day. And, um... Ooh, okay, we need to get the regular Tortuga. Put you off to the side. Recycle Energy is good. A Grimer. Hoot Hoot. A Carablast. Hone Edge, a Stunfisk, and a Requinid. So I'm usually not a um, huge fan of buying like uh, mystery boxes off the internet, but like <laughs> this one was so insane. And put together by Amy, so that was man, just so generous and like the amount of craftsmanship in there. Just like I think she said it took her like 10 hours to paint those things, and then uh, someone else had to kind of like draw over it with the black marker. So all that was by hand. Um, so I am just so impressed and thank you so much. Nummel for the reverse and then a Dragon Knight. Okay, so nothing too crazy in that box. Let's get into the... Let's go to Dirt PV next. All right, this time I will show off the code card instead of forgetting like last time. But so instead we've just been giving away them on Twitch. Uh, so my Twitch plug is that we do stream Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday evening, 7 p.m. EST, and basically throughout the stream, we basically are doing uh, PTCGO pack giveaways. So if you haven't tagged or jumped in on one of those, definitely recommend it, especially if you want to try to win some codes, or not codes, but we just kind of trade off packs. And so we basically do them throughout the stream. Huge shout out to Garfield that kind of donated like an, I don't know, 300 or something packs to the stream I did open a bunch of them But uh, all right, let's get into this XY pack. This is the formality that is the XY pack in all of the PT Pokemon TCG products We have a cleft key Although I don't mind just seeing arts that I don't see very often Shellos, Mantine, Clink Ooh, a reverse shift tree. That's pretty cool Some kind of dual type mechanic and uh, yeah, the one of Unified Minds. I do like how they do include like the most recent sets or something cool like Lost Thunder. I wouldn't mind an Ultra Prism or something like that. All right, let's see. We have Fairy Energy, Thunderous, Recycle Energy. Not bad. Breloom. Ah, these cards are pretty cool. I don't think I'm going to run this deck, but I'll put this off to the side just in case we ever change our mind. Pikachu, Lickitung. Purloin, Miss Spritz, and then a Salazzle. That is creepy. All right, and then two Cosmic Eclipse packs. So far, we haven't pulled anything, no like major hits. So hopefully, we can get our first one, and wouldn't mind it being in Cosmic Eclipse. And quick reminder: oh, green code card, but that doesn't actually mean that we don't have a hit. 
And if reminder, if guys, you do enjoy the content, smash that like button down below for me. It does help the channel grow. And of course, if you're not subbed, hit that sub button. Rowlet, Scrope, Pikachu, Groudon. And then Empoleon, just regular rare. All right, so I think next we'll do the Pale Moon GX. I'm really excited for that box. I think I'm going to keep the code card to myself. I do want to build that um, reset stamp strategy with Mistrevious on there. All right, Lightning Energy, Malolana, pretty good card. Cricketune is cool. Curlia, Dewpider, Apom, Onyx, a Tepig, Sandrew, ooh, Mimikyu. Excuse me, Mimikyu character rare, and it's all it's well centered as well. So we're gonna have, grab a penny sleeve for you, as you are a candidate for PSA potentially. All right, so we get to get our first hit, and now let's let's do some uh, Pale Moon GX. Such a cool product and a very unique tag team. All right, so that product does have the annoying tabs. I think I got the card out. Relatively unscathed. This is a little off-centered with the old uh, just smack it method. It's kind of scary to do it, but it does work. All right, this one, our necessary formality, that is the XY pack first. And then a Lost Thunder, which uh, we are all for. And then two more Unified Minds. So this is amazing. This is just a fun opening. You get a whole lot of different packs. for a amazing mystery box. All right, Nuzleaf. And um, yeah, give a shout out to Amy, my girlfriend. She is pretty shy, so doesn't like to uh, appear in our videos. But hey, you know what? Maybe if we get a bunch of likes on here and a bunch of comments requesting her to make an appearance on the channel again, who knows? Maybe that's the what we need to, uh, the push that we she needs to have in order to appear once again. Alright, on to Lost Thunder. I'm wondering if, uh, I wonder how stacks of PSA cards fit in that box. Maybe it'd be a perfect way to store a whole lot of PSA cards. Alright, Fighting Energy, Aridos, Moo Moo Milk, Vespaquin, Blitzel, Slowpoke, Bruxish, a Larvitar, Carbink, a Spinarak is our reverse, and then just a Mill Tank. Alright, on to two Unified Minds. Yeah, so in case you didn't uh, pick up what I was saying before, like, there's a really cool thing you can make with this dust, Trevor and Dust Noir that basically your goal is to, if you go first, to basically reset stamp your opponent down to at least four, and if you go second to hopefully do the same thing, but also night watch them on your first turn. And the way you do that is using Mistrevious and Dust Stones to get yourself to four prizes, a tag call to find a Trevor and Dust Noir, as well as a Pheromosa Buzzwall. Beast ring those guys to get some energies on there and then some tag it's called tag switch to move the energies to Trevin Dust Noir and uh, then obviously restamp your reset stamp your opponent in the process. So not the easiest thing to pull off, but I think it's actually more consistent than you would think because you can have you have your supporter, you have your mischievouses just to basically keep cycling through your deck to get all those cards that you need. Alright, and then if they if you you pull it off, like your opponent is on such a poor footing, especially if you go first. Meditite is our reverse. And then, ooh, nice. Umbreon Darkrai. I never tried this dark box deck, but it does seem pretty good. I feel like it's, you know, it leverages a lot of cool things like Weavile GX, but just never was top tier, but just has a lot of potential. All right, guys, we're going to clean it up and move on to the last part, which is the Hidden Fates ETB. I'm really nervous, especially after those uh, two Ultra Ball collections, or no, Great Ball collection boxes that were, oh man, just terrible pull rates. All right, it was sooner than I was expecting to do Hidden Fates, but hopefully we can recover and actually get some good pulls. 
All right, we're back in for more of the high stakes games that is Hidden Fates. Still, by far, in my opinion, the best promo that I can think of as far as PT modern P uh, Pokemon TCG games <clears throat> are card products. Here's the code card for those stained glass birds. And we have 10 packs. Let's not. Gosh, I hope we don't have another complete fiasco like that. Oh man, that was so rough. It's gonna be a while before I can get over that terrible opening. But here we go, Hidden Fates. Let's get some shinies. Let's get some shiny GXs, uh, maybe a gold card. And I gotta switch this around, I forgot. Back to Hidden Fates mode. All right, Metal Energy. LT Surge. Koga. Brock's Grit. Paris. Ekans, Psyduck, Staryu, a Cleave Fairy, Misty's Water Command, and Blaine's Last Stand. So picking up right where we left off, <laughs> getting nothing good. And uh, yeah, thank you so much, Amy. This was such an amazing gift. Um, really appreciate it, and so impressive with the craftsmanship, the artwork, everything about that. I absolutely love it. It's going to be my Pokemon treasure chest. Scyther, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Cleef Fairy, a Weezing is our rare. Oh, nice. Shiny Quagsire with Washout. That's a very cool card. A lot of Quag, Quag Natal decks going on where you can basically move around the water energies. And there's like a couple times. My opponent basically used that to set up a Warlord Magikarp, especially if you're running a non-GX deck, and then just this takes out your entire bench. It's actually really cool. All right, let's move on to Hidden Fates. Oh no, what am I saying? They're all Hidden Fates. All right, so we already got one hit. We are off to a better start. Um, I bet this box could easily outperform both of those ultra ball boxes combined that was so rough if you haven't seen that video it's called something along the lines of f in the chat for respect or something like that jigglypuff eevee caterpie a wigglytuff okay we'll take it and then oh yes i think this might be our first gardevoir this was definitely one of the ones i wanted from the beginning gardevoir is one of my favorite pokemon I was really excited when they do that community day and when this gen came out in Pokemon Go. I was actually driving around town looking for Ralts's. Oh man, this all right. This this opening is better than both of those products combined. Yes, shiny Garvar. Okay, Wigglytuff, you deserve a sleeve, I suppose. And oh my gosh, we have three hits out of only two packs. Come on, let's keep it going. We that that opening was so rough that we really need to flush out of our system with lots of good hits. Keep forgetting to do this. Alright. Sabrina, Metapod, Charmeleon, a Pikachu, Cleef Fairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, a Paris, Electrode is the rare. And then a Charmeleon. All right, Electric Energy, Brock's Grit, Chansey, Graveler, a Magikarp, Ekans, Voltorb, Geodude, Pikachu with all those bubbles again, Jolteon, and ah, the Eevee. Not the Eevee we are looking for. So things have cooled off a little bit. It's okay. That that super solid start will keep us floating for a little bit longer. All right, Psychic Energy, Misty, Jinx, Nurse Joy, a Geodude, Jigglypuff. Star you, Ekans, Eevee, Brock's training is our rare slot, and then a Charmander. So we got a reverse Charmander and a Charmeleon. 
Next is we need to find a Charizard, but in that reverse slot. And you know what that means. I'll show you right here. Could you imagine? Here we go. Oh, Fire Energy. That's a good sign, right? Scyther. Jinx. Magmar. Paris. Charmander. Slowpoke. Psyduck. Clefairy. Butterfree is our reverse, and nope. <laughs> oh, it is a shiny Froakie, though. Very nice. I think I traded one of these in a league last, uh, in a couple, few weeks back. So it's nice to have this replaced. And it's going right into our binder. All right, three packs remaining. We already did better than those other two boxes. So I'm already happy with the results of this opening. And uh, yeah, just blown away by that gift, like 100%. We have Giovanni, Koga, LT Surge, a Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone. Oh, ooh, we got the birds. Ah, it's been a while since we pulled the legendary bird trio. Face this a bunch of times in PTCGO. I don't think it's really viable. Just too many different energy types. Um, the Sky Legend is cool, but not good enough. It's easily countered by a Mew. But cool card and amazing artworks nonetheless. And that is hit number five. So we did have a successful opening. So maybe maybe we don't have to wait too much longer to, before we oh, do more hidden fates. The this will help us get over that traumatic incident. Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Lapras is our rare, followed by a Metapod, and our stacks are falling over. All right, guys, one pack remaining in this amazing treasure chest of Pokemon cards that we got our mystery box and our Pokemon treasure chest. Again, hopefully I can use that for maybe a... Um, See, I could kind of store like rare sealed products, or I'm thinking more of like a lot of cool um, individual cards, maybe PSA cards. But I'll let you know in the future what I decide to do. Actually, if you have any any suggestions, let me know in the comment down below. And this is the last pack of our opening. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button. And if you want to see Amy on the channel again, hit that like button and leave, leave a comment as well. Maybe we can get her, convince her to be on the channel again for our last pack. Once again, thank you so much, Amy. Love you so much. Kangaskhan is the reverse. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.